Hello everyone, Relkin here with a CVC game on the the balance test mode on one of the new maps, Abyssal Reef or Reef, Reef, I think it's called Reef. Um, this is going to be a map in the next season. To give a quick overview, you have the the rock here in the natural, kind of defends it a little bit. You have the third base here with two attack paths. One going somewhat like this, so connects to the natural or through these rocks. And you have the other path all the way around that connects over here as well. So these rocks will probably be very important. Then you have the fourth and fifth base that are fairly easy to take. Now for this game we are going for plus one melee upgraded links, bane link nest for the safety and then then we will make magic happen and go for Lurker defense into the eventual mass Hydra strategy to showcase what the new Hydras are all about. Well, let's see. The early game in CVC won't really change too much. So if you hate the early game now, you will hate it afterwards as well. Right now I'm already quite a bit behind. I'm actually starting to catch up a little bit drone wise, but... Yeah, it's tough. So we got our lair done. He's just starting his lair. We're throwing down the Hydra then so we can make the switch. We can make it happen to get the lurkers out. I'm scouting a little bit with my links, checking his roach count. If I see this many roaches and he's not really being aggressive with them, I'm a little bit I sometimes I'm a little bit scared of the mutalisk. So that's one thing I have in mind. As soon as my Hydra Den is done, I'm throwing down the Lurker Den. I got my armor upgrade started as well because I don't want to die to Banelings. And I got the melee upgrade number two. So we're going Lurker into melee upgrade against this GM Zerg right here, Mamba, from Roman D Gaming. Now he has five gases, he has that safety spine crawler. Not sure where he will actually attack me from. I'm killing these rocks right now. Not sure if that's actually worth too much. He's kind of faking a bit of pressure maybe. And the quick link counter. Checking out everything. Running into the bane link. Flying everywhere. I also have a macro hatchery. I have this fourth base as well. I built the macro hatchery because I think I'm... I'm not sure if it actually makes too much sense to get a macro hatch. Now he's going for bane links, but we already have our lurkers ready. So let's see how this all plays out. The roaches come, the lurkers are there, the roaches turn around. The one lurker down here is doing quite a bit of damage. Almost taking out all the roaches, putting most into the red. Then up here we have more lurkers, so not really a nice place for him to attack either. As that lurker is firing away. And we move in a little bit closer. And let the lurkers do their damage. As his units are all dying. Yeah, now those two kind of got away I guess. Now he still has the banelings down here, he kind of forgot about them. I'm trying to kill them without losing everything. Pew pew. That's okay. Now money wise I have quite a bit, right? My macro was pretty sloppy during this time. And he has the spire almost done. I'm getting one of the new hydralisk upgrades right now. I can actually check it. Oh no I can't. I think it's the hydro range, plus two range for the hydra. And the other upgrade is the movement speed upgrade. Making a lot of hydras right now. I'm also throwing down the spire and the infestation pit. Trying to push uh, push him a little bit. With my lurkers. I don't really have too many units here right now. Like my macro was pretty horrible. I even have a macro hatch but I'm unable to spend my money. I also have like a fourth base saturated. And now here come the mutas right. So it's going to be somewhat Roach Muta-esque, uh, what he's playing. I'm trying to run away with a couple of Lurkers. And one Lurker there is still doing quite a bit of work. 
you're being chased down by the mutas, but we already have the armor upgrade, which is ever so important against the mutalisk. Now, my hydralisks are pretty slow right now, they have no movement speed upgrade. Yeah, that lurker. Look at the units lost, he lost about 2k more than I did. Killed 6 workers. He killed a lot more units, but that's mostly because um, he killed a lot of links. You're countering a little bit with circlings over here, trying to make him... Trying to force him to make a move, and right here we see a lot of Hydralisks pushing out. They still don't have the movement speed upgrade, but they have the range upgrade, and the range is so huge right now. Like, it's a huge amount of range. And we have that one lurker that we can burrow to do even more damage. All these. Like, look at that range. Beautiful. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Yeah, so here come the roaches and the mutalisks, but the hydralisks. I don't know. It feels like they do more damage as well, but maybe they're just that many. In the end, the new hydralisks are able to clean up all the roaches and push on through. And that's it from me today. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.